Well, hello, folks. This is Kenneth Bacor from the Model 3 Owners Club show. Just wanted to quickly provide you with a brief video to explain the Ontario Vehicle Incentive Program updates that happened yesterday, being Friday, March the 9th, 2018. We had sent some tweets out yesterday that there was some breaking news that these sites have been updated and that there were some changes to many manufacturers' models from an Ontario incentive. So I wanted to quickly just explain what that looks like and how it may impact Model 3 reservationists and or people that are thinking of buying an EV, whether it be a Tesla or others in general. First, let's, let me just show you what the incentive program looked like prior to this announcement. I was on the site a few weeks ago and captured this snapshot of information dated February the 18th from the Ontario uh, MTO, Eligible Electrical Vehicle Incentive Program uh, from their website. If I go all the way down to the T section there in alphabetical order, you'll see that all of all the current Tesla models um, were available on this website. So and really there's only four that you can purchase today brand new, that being the Model X and the Model S, um, 75D configuration or 100D configuration of each model. And they all qualified for the $14,000 full rebate. So as of the announcement from yesterday, it wasn't really an announcement, it was just a change to the website and that one of our viewers picked up and notified us of it. What we saw happen is that the Tesla category or the listing for Tesla now totally disappears. As you can see, it's not on the list here anymore at all. And that's because all of those current models exceed $75,000 Canadian MSRP price. So one of the changes here is the is that they capped the rebate of $14,000 and said that they're not providing incentives anymore for plug-in hybrid electric vehicles or battery electric vehicles with a retail price of $75,000 or more. And of course, the Model S and Xs here in Canada start at about $97,000 Canadian and go up from there. So none of them qualify any longer as of um, Friday, I guess Saturday, March the 10th being today, for getting any rebates from the province of Ontario. So if you were thinking of ordering one, um, just know that you will no longer qualify for any rebates. So that's the major thing. Now there are some other vehicles. I think Porsche, of course, uh, has some models um, that were on the list that are no longer there. In fact, they're not even, they had the category, they're totally gone. So it wasn't just Tesla that was impacted, it was other high-end models or, or cars that um, have a purchase price, typically of $75,000 or more, that are now removed from the list. So what does this mean from a Model 3 reservationist perspective? I won't get into detail on the pricing because Trevor did a video a little while ago where he went through extensively how we came up with Canadian pricing. But I think it's fair to say that all the current models, versions of the Model 3 that will be deliverable in Canada this year, so that's the long range, which is currently production in production model, and then the standard range model with all wheel drive as an option because Tesla's saying that's going to come out in mid 2018 for Canada as well as the long range version in mid 2018. Those variants of the Model 3 with those options um, should all fall under the $75,000 mark and be available for the full $14,000 rebate. The exception to that could be a fully loaded Model 3 long range edition that is really close to, this, to the $75,000 Canadian price point. It could be over. Again, we don't have exact pricing yet. So until Tesla actually publishes and announces the pricing, um, we, we're just making estimates. But that particular version, so if you get a Model 3 long range and you option it out, even if you, you take everything except the full autonomy, autonomous driving, even, and if you take that, you'll definitely be over the $75,000 mark, or it's going to be very close to that. So be cognizant of, of, of that particular option, that package that you want to get. Everything else from the Model 3 that's deliverable this year should be well under the $75,000 price point, and you should be able to get the provincial rebate. Now, Tesla Model 3s are not on the website yet um, because Tesla is not delivering and they're not shipping those cars yet. Once they become available, we should see them show up on the site. Tesla will, will push the government to get them added on. Hopefully this video was helpful, so don't panic if you have a reservation. 
Um, you stick with it if you'd like. There are, of course, other models, other EVs in the marketplace that you can get as well that you can compare. So I encourage you to look at those. And the, again, just be concerned that if you're holding for a fully loaded long range edition of the Model 3, that you could be out of luck from getting an incentive uh, because that could exceed the price point. Thank you very much and take care, everybody. And we'll talk to you soon.